right, 36% through. Doc Phoenix, all the Mario's Donkey Kong 64. We continue to be a donkey. Yep. So last time we cleared the factory. So that's all of the worlds that we have touched so far are now 100% cleared. And we only did that because we could only 100% clear them after going that far. Yes, because we, we had to go up to the factory to get Chunky. Anyway, down here, um, this is... Oh yeah, this is the sub-basement. Yeah, this is uh, the underneath. We actually, we unlocked this area earlier. Right. Um, it unlocked at the same time as the factory, but, uh, you know, this is, it has a higher banana requirement. This is the stage that comes afterwards. Oh, yeah, I see. So, we've got the, uh, the Chris Flat blueprint guy for Chunky for the, uh, Donkey Kong Island map zone area is in here. This seems to be Brazilian. I hate these guys because they, I feel like either they have a randomized amount of health, or they have, like, some kind of toughness where randomly they won't die. Anyway, that blue switch we can't actually hit yet. Weird. Just inexplicably. The seal. After releasing the seal, you'll find it waiting for DK over by Candy. Whom? Releasing the seal. No, I... <laughs> Chunky doesn't need a key to open the chests below Cranky's lab. Because he's a thief. And Show yeah. me 30 bananas. Show him the bananas. She's out of there. Dive down to the submarine near Funky and see if Tiny can find a way inside. Just that implies that can... you want to dive as Tiny. So that's something. Jump through the star with Unguard and the treasure trove opens. Unguard's in this game? Unguard is in this game. When the ship comes in, climb aboard with Diddy and fire the cannon! At what? Fire the cannon! Okay. Ah, uh, so let's get the hell in here. And we have a cutscene, because there's a cutscene at the start of every stage. The Kongs have unexpected progress. You'd think that you would expect them to make progress when you leave things open for them. To go to. <laughs> My men are all lazy. Yes. The, the Kremlin forces are very well trained and disciplined. And apparently the clap traps are the guards. Yep. It's funny because the, they're being tortured. K. Rule is a slave driver. Anyway, Gloomy Galleon. It's the water level. This is a cave, not a galleon. That's correct. It's it's the water level. Okay. There's water and there's some switches. So there's going to be a lot of uh, wandering around in this stage in particular. Mm -hmm. A lot of swimming around, and not a whole lot to say about things. Or at least not meaningful. So this is a good time to dig into the game's manual. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, as, as with all of the Donkey Kong rare game manuals so far, it's it's written by Cranky. Mm -hmm. Um, there's not really a se any sense to reading out the story in here, because it's literally just a transcription of the opening cutscene to the game. <laughs> it, it's it's literally just in text writing showing what happens in that cutscene. I don't know why, but uh, the the descriptions for the columns has some some interesting things in here. So let's see here. Uh, this is what he says about Donkey. About time that lazy good for nothing went adventuring again. He's the leader of this mangy bunch and tells me he's learned a whole one new bunch of mean reptile stomping moves. I doubt whether they'll be any better than his old ones, but we shall see, shan't we? Shan't? I guess. And yeah, he has not really learned any new moves. 
Because he has no real new moves at the start of the game. Yeah, he needs to acquire them all through potions that don't actually give you abilities. They just kind of... Like, I, I guess he's got, like... No, because he had, like, a roll attack in, uh... Yeah. In the, the previous ones, too. And... He just never used it, because it was awkward. Uh, let's see. For Diddy. Doggy's little nephew wannabe. He's quick, nimble, and courageous, but still a bit of a lightweight when compared to my fine physique. He's also got this newfangled thing he calls a jet barrel, but it sounds like nothing more than a lot of hot air to me. Uh, again, the jet barrel he needed to unlock. Through Cranky, who made it. Uh, it's tiny. I thought this was Dixie Kong until she told me that she's Dixie's younger sister. Bah! Kids these days all look alike. You'll what? probably recognize Dixie's trademark hair spin technique. But tiny can also shrink in size. Although I reckon that one's nothing more than a marketing gimmick and won't even be in the game. Once again, both of those moves are things that you have to unlock from Cranky. Also, they mentioned Dixie right out. They could have just had Dixie. Yeah, they could have. Yeah, they could have. Lanky! A newcomer to the Kong clan and the joker of the pack. I yeah, haven't there's a, a newcomer. I haven't a clue who he's related to. It must be some distant cousin or something. These silly stretchy arms give him plenty of attention, but I'm sure he'll be too busy clowning around to be of much use. So, yeah, Cranky has no idea who Lanky is or where he came from. Z button. Yeah, there's there's more. Here's Ungard. And also around. a eel with a headlamp? Yeah, you get uh, the the fish with a, a light following you and these, this gloomy galleon. The actual so, ship part of it. Because, of course, Rare loves their fucking light gimmicks. Especially underwater. Yep. <sighs> yep. So I would like to point out that, uh, you know, it's Lanky in here, transformed into Unguard. You cannot mm -hmm. pick up blue coins as Unguard, because Unguard is not Lanky. Wow. Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, it is. Camera? Okay. Yep. 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 So yeah, we were, we're down in this ship. We had to open a thing to go in the ship, and then we're swimming around and doing stuff in the ship, and that's that's the ship. There's several of these. Yes. Can't grab the banana either, because that's a lanky banana, not an unguard banana. Anyway, Chunky Kong! Let me guess, this one's the big guy. Sheesh, I don't know how they come up with these names. Anyway, he's Kitty's older brother, and lists crushing, smashing, and pounding Kremlings as his hobbies. Hey, perhaps there's a glimmer of hope for these bums after all. I bet he's really slow, though. Well, I'm glad they got some muscle in the family. Other than the boss. Or the, the toddler. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. He's also he's, he's got descriptions of uh, you know the the other non-playable Kongs. Oh. And here he's he's got his Professor Cranky Kong. Yep, you read it right, Sonny. It's Professor Cranky now, and you'd better show your elders some respect. Tom, you're only hoping defeating those rancid reptiles. My powerful potions will give you abilities you'd never dreamed of, and certainly don't deserve. Assuming, of course, you can afford my modest asking fee. Now, don't you go asking me for a potion of gameplay, as even my genius can't rescue this game from its rightful destiny in the bargain bin. Wow! That was prophetic. <sighs> yeah, I... Did, did this <laughs> game actually... I... What, what, was this game... Not pop... I don't remember, honestly. Whether, like, how popular this game actually was at the time. Compared to Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. 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 I mean, I... Objectively, it's worse than Banjo-Kazooie. I, mm. I... I fully agree with that. Just, I'm, I'm not... I have no memory of, at the time, what it was seen as. Well, I can look that up while you read the rest of the manual. I saw see Funky Kong. Lazy, rude, and loud he may be, but Funky Welcome the Monkey stocks the necessary firepower you're gonna need to blast your way through the collection of mediocrity known as the Levels. 
He warned though as Funky's comprehensive guarantee on his products expires as soon as you leave his hut. Wow, this game got loud. Yeah, so this is uh the one of the mini games, Kremlin Kosh. You're, you're shooting Kremlins with the, the melon gun. Do you remember the melon gun that's played in the mini games? Yeah, we saw this before. Did we? Yeah, it's I know those levels are blended together. Yeah, yeah. But uh yes, yeah, they they have the mini games get repeated, of course. Oh! I'm just looking up random facts about Donkey Kong 64. Well, here's a random fact since we just mentioned about Funky. Uh, did you know they were originally going to have, like, actual guns in the game? Like, Yeah, it kind of seemed like that's guns. what they were going to do, yeah. So, uh, I, I actually was reading a, a, a story about this, that, um, they, they had them in originally, and then, uh, you know, they had folks from Nintendo over to demo the game. Mm -hmm. And the moment that Shigeru Miyamoto saw Donkey Kong with a shotgun, he was horrified. I would be too. And immediately pulled out a paper and pencil and drew up the coconut gun. <laughs> 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 and, like, showed that off, and it's like, yeah. I can imagine Shigeru Miyamoto doing that, like, you fucking idiots. Yeah. Yeah. Do you even realize what you're doing? So, uh, yeah, that's, um... That's why we have all of the fruit-based guns in this game, because... You shouldn't have had guns in the first place! <laughs> I fixed your fucking mistake! Yep. Yep. Uh, so... I have ratings here. Uh-huh! Uh, according to Metacritic, this game has a 90 out of 100. Really? Uh, By the way, just a, a thing to point out. Tiny cannot be on guard. Nobody fine. can be on guard except Blanky, because on guard is blue. I hate that logic. <laughs> That's the only logic I can come up with, because the game doesn't fucking tell you why! You see, I would've thought that only Donkey Kong, because... Only no. Donkey Kong is friends with... Which makes this even more egregious that on guard cannot pick up the blue bananas and coins and shit! Yeah... Because it has to be lanky! Oh, yeah. <sighs> anyway, these anyway. are actually pretty high scores. Yeah! The that's... lowest one is from EGM, which gave it a 27 out of 40. Yeah. Like, but I, I kind of had a feeling this game had, like, some amount of, you know, popularity and, and high regard it, at it the time. It won E3's 1999 Best Platformer Award. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah! I, this game doesn't deserve that. No, it doesn't. Uh, so, back to our, our manual here. We've mm -hmm. got the Candy Kong. Ah, done. Donkey has all the luck. This girl Candy waits around in her hut, always willing to offer her musical help to that undeserving son of mine and Wait, his, his fancy his polygonal friends. His girl? Ah! Yeah, Candy Kong is canonically Donkey Kong's girlfriend. Okay. No, they are not related. Okay. Also, another uh, thing in here of Cranky calling Donkey his son, which we have previously discussed at length. That is not the case. It couldn't be. Cranky Kong's son is Donkey Kong Jr., who is a different character from Donkey Kong. We know this. Junior wears a uh, not a, a tie. Junior wears a little uh, a, a shirt with a J on it. <laughs> Donkey Kong wears a tie. These are very different Kongs. They were both in the same game, in fact. In, uh, in the modern Donkey Kong's first appearance, Junior was there. They are clearly different, uh, different gorillas. Uh, anyway, and there's an entry for Wrinkly Kong. She may not be quite the same as you remember from her, pa her from past adventures, but my good-natured wife will be around again to help you if you get stuck. Which I'm sure you will. So, uh, that's, that's what Cranky has to say about all of the, uh, the Kongs. What do you got there? Uh, just some, I'm just reading off the Wikipedia page for Donkey Kong 64, and while those ratings were really good, people have some very interesting things to say about this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do. 
Reviewers criticized the DK rap as embarrassing. We're getting our instrument upgraded. 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 Upgrade one. Very descriptive. What does it do? Uh, it just increases the number of charges that you have for using the instrument. Ah, it's an ammo belt for our guitar. Yeah. Well, not just for the guitar, it's for all of the instruments. Yeah. It's one of the things that Wong Kong pays for and everybody gets. Um... So what else did critics have to say about Donkey Kong 64 at the time? All Game wrote, The 3D platform genre doesn't evolve with Donkey Kong 64. Which is a very diplomatic way of saying it. Yeah, they really don't do anything new or interesting in this game. Uh, game fan uh, said that it truly offers nothing new and, quote, It's a big bloated project with not enough brilliant moments to justify the numbness of sitting through the whole thing. It fails to live up to the rare name. I think it lives up to the rare name perfectly. Yeah, I... It's I, exactly, uh, the, the, those are exactly the problems I've had with every rare game. Yeah. Even Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie, like, it has some of those problems, but it does have, like, the moments of... It does little... have brilliance. Yeah, and it's, like, a lot of the puzzles are actually good. Not, there's not a whole lot of repetition. <laughs> uh, GameSpot says that it would have been better as a launch title. Yeah. Yeah. Daily Radar said it was simply the best 3D platform game on the console. That's, again, objectively false. Yeah. Banjo-Kazooie came out before this end was better. I would say Super Mario 64 was better than this. Now, uh, the one thing that I will point out, the mention of, uh, you know, it would have been better as a launch title. This game was originally going to be a 2D platformer. Hmm. It was uh, only after Rare saw, like, you know, the Mario 64 kind of kicked off this uh, popularity of 3D platformers. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Rare decided to kind of change gears several years into the project. Oh, that's never a good sign. And, uh, you know, there there were complaints in there because they had never done... Okay, no, I can't say that because they they had never done a three... No, because I can't say that because they did Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. Not that it was good. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, that's, that's the thing. Funky didn't have anything new here, but he refills your ammo. Yeah.